Here we are, we are in South Africa, in the Limpopo province, uh, Chakawa Lodge. Uh, the owner, Lambert Van Stratton, is a longtime friend of mine. I've been here several times. This is his fourth trip with me, so we're gonna go see if we can find a lone bull this year. We have some tracks on a waterhole close by, so we think that they are working between two water holes. The Chinito, this is probably his area. It's day one, and uh, around midday, we found a fresh buffalo track crossing the road. This is fresh. This one is fresh. All right. Let's get on him. Part of Africa's big five, Cape Buffalo is one of the world's deadliest animals, killing more hunters than any beast on the planet. With large, sharp horns atop their heads and sour dispositions to boot, they can and will attack. Here is one big track. We looked at the track. I talked to Jeffrey, the tracker. We decided that, yeah, that's a big bull, and that's the one we're going to hunt. Let's get it real close. This whole hunt is about a single bull. He knows we are on him. As soon as they know you're behind them, they react a whole, whole lot different. There's always a possibility that he might come from behind, or in that thick bush you cannot even see 10 yards. So he will, he will attack you from the front and charge you from the front as well. It's getting thicker also, the vegetation, so it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen quick. What do you see? He's driving in here. You can see his tracks all over here. We're looking maybe a 15, 20 year shot. We couldn't catch up with him. We realized that he made us a loop and his track were on top of ours. We all got that feeling that this is the type of buffalo you need to be afraid of. So at that moment, we knew that this was not gonna be our regular hunt. This was gonna be a standoff. How many hours of tracking? Close to sunset, we decided uh, that we're gonna leave that bull and not push him any further so that we can Get back on him the next morning. He didn't make any mistakes today. Maybe tomorrow is going to be a different thing. An African sunset. For the entire day, we were just pushing him. All through the night, we were talking with Lambert, like, we need to be really on guard. This was a game of cat and mouse. We are here on a situation that neither of the parties are giving up. This bull, he's giving us the run around, and hopefully we're gonna get it. But he's, he's getting very, very tough. Very, very tough to follow him. Let's get back to work. All right. This, this type of stuff does happen in the bush. We were lucky so far just to get one. Don't hurt yourself. I don't know if one has something to do with this. Blame it on the buffalo. All right, back in business. Let's go. We still need to get that buffalo down. Probably not too far. Jeffrey is uh, my tracker, and he drives the truck for me. If somebody will find it, Jeffrey will find it. Okay, let's go for it. Right. There's no way that you can pick up trucks the way that this guy can track. You sure it's this one? Huh? Sure. You sure it's this one? Huh? You're hunting an adversary that weighs a ton. He's smart, very agile, and can measure up to 10 feet long and five feet tall. You're not gonna have a second chance. And when that moment comes, there's no turning back. After about 30 minutes, we got some fresh droppings. We're closing up. We came up, it was a bachelor group of bulls. First time we see buffalo in two days. Yeah, they're all soft tops. Let's move back to get out of their way. Jeffrey's just a phenomenal tracker. I've checked with him, I've asked him, I said, uh, will you be able to pick this track up on the other side of these bulls? And he said yes. He must be 200 tracks. There's some very big bulls there. But we are committed to this big guy. 
definitely pick the track up after 10 minutes and we continue tracking our bull. Didn't join the herd. He just passed through. He's an old bull and they get pushed aside when they get older and they also they become more intelligent and they know when they walk by themselves there's a whole lot of less danger on them. Everything comes down to that second. We are gonna see him for the first time. He's inside that bush. Oh yeah, I see him. He's feeding. Go low. Go low. He didn't know we were there, so everything was in our favor. He's in there. I know, but there's so many branches, man. So we, we moved slowly to the left-hand side of the bush. So we are coming out of the thicket, and he's still feeding, unaware of us, behind the bush. Lambert set up the sticks. I'm on him. Wait for that moment. Wait for him to come in the opening. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Take your time and your first shot. Moment of truth. Luckily for us, he's unaware of us. If you are in your one, take him. OK, take him. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Hold on, hold on. Perfect signs of a good shot. The bucking with the four legs in the air. We know that he's hit hard. He stopped for a second, and honestly, I thought it was a done deal. But at the moment that you put a bullet on him, you just awoke one of Africa's most dangerous animals. When I thought that everything is over, he turns around, starts a full charge. You can see in his eyes that he's coming to take you out. Shoot him again. Shoot him again, Juan. No, 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 take it easy, Juan. Give him some time, Juan. He was feeding. Jeffrey spotted. I'm on him. Moment of truth. Take him. The first shot was an excellent shot on the shoulder. You can have the perfect shot, and sometimes it's not enough. When that animal locks eyes on you, he's looking straight to your soul. And he was at 15 yards. Full charge. Shoot him again, Juan. What a rush. Talk about an adversary. And here we are. This really was one of my most memorable hunts. We tracked this bull for a total of 32 hours. Oh, my god. Look at this guy. He's got some big bosses on him. It's a 41, 42-inch buffalo. What a relentless personality. Juan, you can, you can be really proud of this one. Thanks God that we have the Savage Rifle. Takes a lot of lead to turn off the eyes of these creatures. It all worked out. That is just an adventurous hunt. When you have such a clever animal, it really is a challenge. Really, you test yourself, you test your equipment.